Hi, it's Bill Coyne for Straight Circle Martial Arts. And this is escaping grabs and holds like a ghost. Escaping grabs and holds is a difficult thing to do. And there are two ways to do it. You can either outmuscle your opponent and throw them around, or you can be really smooth and feel like you're not there. At some point, you effectively become like a ghost. They go to grab you, it's almost like you're invisible. It is a really hard skill to do, but it's worth trying. And most people don't know how, so I want to explain it to you. What happens is, is when someone attacks you, they need structure to hold on to you, right? So if I grab him, and I mean to grab him, what I expect out of him is tension. And that tension holds me up. If he gives me tension, and I'm going to lean on him, right, he holds me up by his tension. But if he decides to let go of that, I fall down. Why? Because I have nothing to hold me in that place. So what happens is, is when people get grabbed, say they're grabbed like this, right? What happens is people, what they do is they tense, but what that does is it gives him something to hold on to. I don't want to give him anything to hold on to. When he grabs me, what I want to do is I want to take this pressure, I want to take it in a direction to where he doesn't feel like he has support. So if he leans on me, see, I'm going to give him pressure. See, I have this. So as he leans, see how I take that from him? As he grabs, push him. I want to take that support from him, and I can move him. When he goes, what happens is, is he waiting to feel like something's going to hold him up. And I keep taking it from him. And the minute I feel like he starts to lean, I want to change the direction and come to a direction he's weak. So every time he grabs, it should not feel like he's supported. Right? So as he comes to me, I'm just going to take the support and move with it. Now, now it works better the more momentum he has. If he comes to me with a lot of motion, it's easier for me to do this. Because he feels like he's going to hit tension. I take it. He comes for it. I take it. And it's the same thing. If he grabs me up here, right, I want to take that tension from him. If he grabs me on the arms, I want to take this from him all the time. No matter what he does to get a hold of me, I want to take that pressure from him, and I always want to make it feel like as he grabs on, I just take that from him so he doesn't have structure. You always want to take it from him, no matter where he grabs. I want to take that from him so that he doesn't feel like he has balance. So, how you have to envision this is where people have problems with this. I'm going to do it real slow. So as he pushes, what most people do is they move their arms, but they resist with their shoulder. So he's going to hit a point where I resist and he still has stability. As he does this, what I need to do is relax and let that shoulder go. He comes in, I relax and I let the shoulder go. Now, there's a limit to that too. My shoulder only goes so far. So let's say he takes a deeper step. If he pushes like this, even if I let it go, there's going to come a point where I hit max. And if he pushes, he's going to push me back and over. So what I have to do at that point is I let it go and then I step. See, I had to make that turn to take the pressure off the shoulder. So I move, I take the pressure from him, and then I take it away. The other thing I do with this is I don't fight him on a straight line. So if we're like this and we're both pushing, we're at a point of impasse. What I want to do is while he's pushing this way, I will take the direction somewhere else. So if we're on this line, I may take him that way. And then when he feels like he's recovering, I may take him back this way. No matter what he does to grab, I want to take it and I want to change the angles and the directions on it. So as he comes in, look, see how I take it away? And that allows me to get to a different position. If I just go like this and we are on this plane together, we will always fight because we're on the same plane. So as he comes in, you have to yield, take it, let it go, and change directions. And that applies to everything. It could be just grabs, right? It could be, you know, someone's coming to tackle you this way. And as you do, you have to do the same thing. You have to let the energy go and let it come off you. Now, does this work every single time? No. 
You know, sometimes no matter how good you do it, they get a hold of you and then we go into different work. But for the most part, if you catch someone who's coming relatively uncontrolled with a lot of weight, it's not really hard to evade them and move them by taking it away. So if you're going to play with this, find somebody and get the idea of this, right? If he pushes, we have two points of resistance here, me and him, and I want to take that resistance from him. I want to make sure as he pushes, <laughs> he feels like he doesn't have anything to grab. So when he pushes really hard, see, I take that from him. And then there's this, this hesitation because he's trying to regain his balance. So start with a basic level. Just play with the idea if you feel pressure, and then you take that pressure. If you feel pressure, you take the pressure. Take it away from him and then redirect it at some point. When someone grabs you, they should never feel like they have something solid. They should always disappear, and they should always feel off balance. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel immensely.